So is Michael working tonight? Yeah, he pulled the late shift. Huh? If you, uh, if you want me to leave a tie on the doorknob, I'll have to find the tie. And they said you weren't funny. Don't go listening to your husband. <laughs> I'm not. And he's my ex-husband. Mm -hmm. But I think, um, people just assume. Assume what? You're still in mourning. Huh. But hey, I'm, I'm gonna fix that for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, I'm here to cheer you up. Hey, um, were you a glass of wine or something? Uh, I was kind of looking forward to one of those cans of beers that you went out and purchased. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, it's funny. I never really pegged you for a beer-drinking kind of gal. <laughs> well, I'm not really, but um, I'm trying new things. I'm going to drink to that. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. See, I got a theory. Oh, boy. One beer and she's already got a theory. <laughs> no. I just think if it's not working that you should do something different. I like it. Me too. You know, because I think there's so many people out there that, you know, are doing the same thing over and over again. And each time they just pray and hope that it, that it works. In my line of work, we call that an M.O. Really? Ooh. So, what's my M.O.? Oh, you know what? Huh. No, no. Don't answer that because okay. I'm never going back to Todd, okay? Is that what we're drinking to? No. We are drinking to me. To my brand new, unknown, glorious future. Don't go changing too much. Are you flirting with me, detective? Something other than black. <laughs> I don't believe you. That way everything matches. Okay, you know, the last time I was here, I checked out your drawers. I remember. Uh-huh. This time, I think I'm going to check out the closet. Where are you going? I'm going to check the closet. Oh, look. Hmm, everything's black. We got a black striped shirt, a black shirt, black striped, black. Oh, what is this? It's gray. Wow. Yeah, it used, Good to, be, times. It used to be darker. I think it got a little worn out in the wash. Hmm. Okay. I'm not much of a shopper. Really? Mm. Now, wait a minute here. What's this under this? Whoa! Look at this! Yeah. Wow! That's not really mine. Really? It was really here in your closet. Yes, I, I, I know. It's Listen to me. It's more of a joke, all right? Uh-huh. Every year, Michael and I, we give each other one completely useless Christmas present. That's that. That's that. Well, why don't you put... This on. Forget about it. Come on. Ah. Come on. No. Put it on for me and I'll do a little something, something for you. Like what? You put it on. You'll find out. Have any of your other dreams seem like memories? Well, what's different about this one? Mm. Well, it felt like I'd been there before in that room. Well, I did describe it. In general terms, the incident, you know, I just I described that it was at a frat house and there was a party, so maybe that's what you remember, my description. That's possible. I know the feelings were real. Well, I'm going to get you some tea. No, don't go. If I fall asleep again, I might, um, might happen again, and I don't think I can go back there. It was just a dream. <laughs> Only it wasn't. You think uh, you could stay here again with me tonight? Yes, absolutely. Here? Here with me? Just in case I fall asleep. Could you stay here, please? Sure. Uh, 
You want to keep the lights on? I don't care. I feel ridiculous, you know, when you are pure evil. I am not. I'm just mm. having a little fun. Yeah, at my expense. Oh, at your expense? Now, if it were your expense, I would get my cell phone out, take a picture, and put it on the internet. You take one picture of me, and I swear I'll have you arrested. Oh, no. Does that mean you get to use those handcuffs on me? Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't mm. you? Now who's evil? Mm. I am going to buy you a shirt. Oh. A nice blue shirt. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to wear it anywhere. You just have to hang it in that closet there. Uh-huh. And then one night, when I feel the need, I'm going to call you up. I'm going to ask you to put it on. I'll buy the blue shirt. 